everyone welcome back to my channel so we are going thrifting once again and I'm so excited to bring you with me so we are going to my two favorite thrift stores that I usually go to however I think I'm gonna add one in rotation today so we'll see how it turns out but if you're here just for the thrift haul I'm going to put the timestamp right here so fast forward to it if you feel so inclined but without further ado let's head in there so we are back once again at my local Goodwill and I was so excited to shop today. And so this was a little uncharacteristic of me, but I started out in the kitchen section and I found these cute brown bowls. Now, I thought they were great. They were only $4.99 for the set. I ended up not getting them though because I have bought so many of these. Like, I just need to contain myself and that is really hard to do sometimes, especially when you love a certain style or particular piece. So anytime I find unopened boxes with no picture, I tend to look up the item based off the skew number or maybe some descriptive detail. It gives you a great opportunity to snag a great piece. Now Goodwill this day had a lot of different mirrors and a lot of different pictures. So obviously I love to peruse the picture section. I did find this one picture I'm about to show you. Um, yeah, it was very texturized, which was very different. Not typically my style, but I loved the frame. Like that wood detailing is just gorgeous. And because I do a lot of thrift flips, I tend to always view items as their potential and not necessarily as a whole. I also found this cute little serving tray and thought immediately this could be a great lap desk for when I'm sitting on the couch because I cannot help constantly sitting on the couch while I do work. <laughs> and finally, I made it to the wooden basket section and found this cute peg coat rack. Um, there were actually two, if you see there. I picked the longer one though. Um, it definitely needs some fixing up, but I thought it would be great for my home. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't pick up baskets. And I actually went back the next day to pick up some baskets I missed the last time. Also, surprising and very rare to see at a thrift store, but these candle sconces were still there, and because I was thinking about them so much, I just picked them up and decided that I needed to have them. That happiness was unfortunately short-lived, though, when I realized that there was a cuter item at a different thrift store. Okay, and I have no idea what this was. I'm pretty sure that someone probably made it in a pottery class, but I thought it was so cute and I couldn't pass it up. And as I was walking down this aisle, I was kind of just not really looking around, you know, it was the kitchen section. I've been in it already and almost walked past these coasters. Now I could not believe it when I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get them right away. And so I packed up and left at that moment. So, um, so I unexpectedly got a lot of stuff from that store right there. However, we're still going to the next two stores. I will try not to make this a ridiculously long come thrift with me in thrift haul video though. So second stop as always is Old Faithful and this is just because I know that things can sit here a little bit longer than they do at the bougie thrift store. First thing that caught my eye was this hourglass and I also found this mat. I'm not really sure what it was, but I thought it would be useful for a DIY. And then I also found this. Now I wasn't sure what exactly it was used for. My thought was maybe like a tea light almost, but I thought it was cute. I also found this stone. I thought it was really cute. Obviously like a split open stone, but you can find stone similar at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like $5.99. So it wasn't the best price, but I was willing to pick it up anyways. But other than that, I walked the aisles multiple times and didn't have much more luck beyond that. So this last one was a little bit sparse, didn't have a lot of things, so I didn't pick up a lot of things. My bank account is probably grateful for that, but we have one last place to go to. So let's drive on over there. And welcome to a new Salvation Army store for me and you. I am calling this one the $19.99 store. The reason for that being is that every piece of furniture I was looking at was literally $19.99. Like this stand with the mesh. I'm not even sure what it was, but I thought it was cute and I was like, ooh, maybe I'll get that. And then I looked at the price and it was like $19.99. And then I was like, okay, never mind. So all in all, I would say this was probably the smallest thrift store I have ever been to. And it's not to say it didn't have great pieces. I do think it had some great pieces, but in order for this store to be one that 
becomes one of my regulars. I would have to go here multiple times, at least five times, and then make a decision on how lucky I've gotten in those five times. So one thing that I did find were these candle sconces. Why? I mean, they're so cute and I left them because I already got candle sconces. I also eyed this cute trinket dish. I didn't pick it up though because I have a ton of those as well. It was a beautiful piece though. I loved the colors that were intermingled in it, probably because I gravitate towards neutral pieces. Also, where were these box of candlesticks when everyone was doing those candle DIYs? And I had no need for this like little brass container that holds firewood because I don't have a fireplace, but it was so cute. I ended up not getting it though because it had two stickers on it. Same thing with this little wicker kettle too. I wanted to pick it up, but I picked it up and there was no price sticker on it. And every thrift store in my area won't sell you an item if it has two different prices on it or if it doesn't have a price at all. Also, this was such a cute vase. I didn't end up picking it up, but it was such a cute shape. All right, only got a couple of things there, so it's haul time now. Okay, so first up are these brass candle holders. I don't normally find tall candlestick holders, so I thought that was cool. These were 99 cents each, and I don't know, I think that's I think that's a fair price for these. Next up is this cute little basket. Obviously, you know me, I'm really into baskets. So it's really cute as is. I thought maybe doing a little detail on it to make a little bit more unique. $1.99 for this one, so I think a good price. Next up are these wall candle sconces. If you saw my last thrift with me, Video, you saw me pass these up and I kept thinking about them so I ended up picking them up they're legit they're not like plastic or anything like this but I was excited about picking these up until I actually saw those gold ones at the last thrift store now as cute as they were I did not pick them up and the reason why is because towards the end of the day I was just like this is going to be an hour-long video and truth be told I can be a little spendy at any other store I'm fine just when you take me to thrift stores it's like game over so they were $6.99 for the pair I'm really still excited about these even though the other ones were cute too next up is this huge circle vase stay with me here I thought it was really cute I mean to me it feels like a boho vibe could easily, if you're not into black, could kind of change it into a different color, maybe like white or something like that. This was $5.99, um, which isn't a terrible price. Because of its size, I was okay with paying that price. Yeah. Next up is this. I think, and I'm pretty sure I'd be accurate when I'd say this, but I believe this is like a handmade piece. So it's got these curved edges that were attached to this base. I thought it was really cool. Plus, I love this terracotta color. I thought this would just be a really cute piece on a bookshelf, possibly like a bookend. This one was only $2.99. It's an eye-catching piece that you don't see every day. Next up is this hourglass. I was that kid who would always take the little hourglass out of the games and just play with it constantly. Um, plus it reminds me of Aladdin when Jasmine is trapped into the thing. That sounds so morbid as I say that. I really liked this as like a decor piece because it's very minimal. When you're styling shells, it's great to have like varying heights and this is a great height piece. But two, I thought it was just a really understated piece that doesn't need much. Now this one was $4.99. So probably my biggest find to date if they are actually legit. I got these coasters. Now, I am not knowledgeable on vintage items. However, I picked these up. And I'm not saying that they are, but they look like vintage silver plated coasters. Now, I have no idea if they actually are. So if they are legit, these can sell upwards of $100. So. If anyone is actually knowledgeable on this, please let me know. Like I've seen pictures and they look similar, but they also could be a close like imitation. If they are amazing, and that means an amazing find at a thrift store, but if they aren't, I'm so okay with that too because they're cute and they were only $1.99. Next up is this stone bowl. I mean, stone bowls are really in. Like if you see Studio McGee, I think uh, Restoration Hardware have some kind of version of a stone stone bowl and she sold it to me for 99 cents so a legit stone bowl for 99 cents I mean I think that's a steal so next up is this picture now um you saw me look at this and to be honest I'm gonna be really really kind of brutal here like I don't 
like this this painting I like the colors but I picked this up solely for the wood design I thought that was stunning that was beautiful so assuming I do my research and this is not like a really important kind of painting I'm gonna take this out this was $14.99 like it killed me but I could not walk away from this frame like this is a gorgeous frame next up I know you saw me look at this ow so I know you saw me look at this I tried searching it online to see if I could find it however I could not I don't like to take a chance and gamble like that however um, this time around I did Mostly because uh, wood is really expensive these days if you're living in the US. So, because of that, I took a chance. Um, I have not opened up the box, so we're gonna see together what's inside this box. I'm crossing my fingers, it's good. Okay. Mm. Actually, a decent color. I don't mind that color at all, so that's promising. And it's got these two pieces, so. It does have instructions, thankfully, so let's see. It looks like that. So, I mean, I mean, for $5.99 and taking a gamble and kind of like hoping that I like it, I'd say I'm happy. I think it's a cute shelf. Um, so next up, I found this little cute stone, just a cute shelf decor piece, and I picked it up for $2.99, so price-wise, I think that's, that's all right. Next up is this. So this reminds me of kind of like an open-faced like oven. Let me know what you would do as far as the color goes. Like, I like the brown tone that's coming off of it. I'm just, I don't know how I feel about the yellow, red, and blue that's on top of this though. Color aside, I thought this was really cute. I bought it for $2.99. I think this one was a cute grab. Okay, next up is this vase. Now, I really liked the shape of it, so I picked this up. And this one was $2.99, and so because of this color, it's definitely going to get uh, an upcycle. I also picked up this glass jug. So this one was $3.99. I mean, for $3.99, I thought it was a great price. <laughs> it definitely needs to be washed, but um, cute nonetheless. I think this would be really cute just to have. Next up, you saw this in the last thrift store. This one was $3.99 for this. It's a piece that's going to help me make something else, so I was like, Nah, okay. I also picked up this. Now this tray is very basic. It was only $1.99. For $1.99 it was like a no-brainer for me. I also got this pegboard. It's funny, I feel like pegboards were like one of those things that were like, no, no, those are not cute. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom! They're cute again. This color is really bad. There was actually another one too. It was more my color style because it was more natural. However, I picked this one up instead because of the fact that it is longer. Yeah, and this one was $2.99. I think it's cute and it's an easy way to kind of just add storage anywhere. So. Honorable mention, I'm not gonna talk about this, but I did get two canvas pieces and this is because I'm going to be doing DIY decor dupes on my channel, so. Wall art is going to be on my channel soon. Enough about that. And last but not least are these scarves. Thought immediately I could do a DIY with them. Wanted to DIY them into kind of looking like pompous grass. If I can't do that, kind of like those bunny tail style pieces. Assuming I can manage that, these will turn out great. Assuming I can't, you'll never see them again. I think that is finally it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if thrift with me and thrift hauls are something you want to see more of, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, if I pass that vibe check for you, definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so you're in the know when I post again. Can't imagine that too many people made it to the end. If you did make it to the end though, Thank you, because this was a lot. I'm so sorry this was a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. But yes, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!